Hello everybody, Carrie Birchall here with another episode of Shine Like a North Star. Our goal in these quick episodes is to just give you leadership nuggets to help keep that leadership focus and fine tune your behaviors at the top of your mind. So today's work actually comes from a really great book that I love called Humble Inquiry by Edgar Schein. It is the kind of book that you can get through quickly, but you won't because you have to wrestle with it. I think Brené Brown talks about throwing books across the room. I didn't throw it across the room, but it made me mad where I had to put it down multiple times and it took me six months to get through these 110 pages. Uh, written in 2013, this book is a game changer for you as a leader because it helps you slow down to see what you need to sharpen in your leadership work. So let's cover a few concepts and wrap it up with some nuggets for you to take away today. So in the book, Edgar talks about people really um, needing this innovation, problem solving, all of that drive that comes from relationships. And without humble inquiry, we're missing the opportunity to have relationships that create that psychological safety, spaces where we can really understand each other and build on each other's strengths and understanding so that we have more complete picture to be better problem solvers, certainly more innovative in today's time. So some things that kind of get in the way of that is many organizations, and he argues that the United States really values asking the right question more than just general questions that help you understand more. So you kind of look like you don't know what is going on when you ask general questions. Now he would argue that's the whole gift of humble inquiry, which is really this concept of being humble, that you don't know everything, and inquisitive, as in curious about wanting to know more, right? Humble inquiry. Now, I think we're all leaders that are humble enough to know that we don't know everything, right? And we're inquisitive to know what we can learn more about. This book gets at those nuanced situations where we might get ahead of ourselves and set aside the humble inquiry when we maybe need it. So he also talks about this um, final concept of um, cultures that value task accomplishment over relationships. Meaning, you know, we hit COVID, right? Things are upside down, inside out. Years later, we're still kind of wrestling with the debris of COVID. So we want things to get fixed right, task accomplishment. And in that, are we really slowing down to kind of pace with people, see what they understand, what's their um, interpretation of things, their perception, their gifts, their strengths? What does that look like to build those relationships opposed to just getting it done? Which is a difficult space when we are under pressure all the time as leaders to get stuff done. I mean, let's be honest, you got promoted in your leadership role because you were recognized for getting things done. Now a tricky part of humble inquiry, and this is really what drove me over the edge. <laughs> it's like one of the in ink underlined and yellow highlighted and the star beside it lines in the book. I have this whole process on underscoring things. I don't know if you do, but yeah, this one got it, which is when you feel defensive and angry, that's when you need humble inquiry at the most, right? I'm, I'm triggered by something. I have a reaction to something. I need to set that aside, really leverage my humble inquiry muscles and get inquisitive about what is going on so that I can make a better response. Whew. Not easy work, but a nice reminder. And many of the clients that I'm really coaching with, teams that I'm leading, you know, it's that like, go, 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 fast paced of the everyday world of leadership. Humble inquiry is a great reminder that if we don't start with those relationships and make those connections, we're going to lose the foundation of our house wherein the work is going to happen to move us forward. I'd love to be a part of the work that you're doing. Let's connect. Find me on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. CarrieBirchall.com, you name it, let's connect. I'd love to hear about some of those challenges that you're facing around the task accomplishment piece versus the relationship side, what you're doing to slow down. Let, let me hear just from you about what's going on. I love being a part of people's journey. Take care, be safe, and let's be humble together.